Have you ever wondered how a tiny silkworm creates one of the world's most luxurious fabrics? In China, where silk farming has thrived for over 5,000 years, this delicate art is a blend of tradition and innovation. Let's uncover its secrets. The history of silkworms and silk production dates back to ancient China, where it was discovered almost 5,000 years ago. The silk moth, or Bombex mori, is the key to silk production process, as it produces silk fibers to create cocoons. The silkworm's life cycle begins when the female silk moth lays 300 to 500 eggs, which hatch into larvae after 10 days. The larvae feed on mulberry leaves for four to six weeks, growing quickly and shedding their skin four times. After two weeks, the butterfly is fully developed and emerges from its cocoon during high humidity. Unable to fly, it mates, lays eggs, and completes its cycle within five to ten days. Today, silkworm farming continues to thrive worldwide. In China, silkworm farming peaks in spring and autumn, when conditions are ideal for their growth Silkworms need to be fed continuously and regularly. In small-scale silkworm farming, feeding is still done manually, where farmers carefully hand-feed the silkworms with mulberry leaves. However, in large-scale production, modern machinery and automated systems are used to distribute mulberry leaves efficiently ensuring the silkworms receive consistent nutrition while saving time and labor. Chinese farmers use lime powder to disinfect silkworm rearing areas and maintain suitable pH, keeping the rearing environment clean and safe, facilitating healthy silkworm growth and high-quality silk production. Silkworms spin silk by secreting a protein that hardens into a thread, which they use to create their cocoon over two to three days. The Japanese silkworm produces cocoons that are elongated, round, and slightly curved in the middle, resembling a bean while the Chinese silkworm produces ovoid-shaped cocoons. Traditionally, cocoons were carefully harvested by hand to ensure the highest quality. Today, modern machinery has been introduced to streamline the process, enhancing efficiency while upholding the high standards of silk production. Each silkworm can produce up to 1,000 meters of silk. China now produces over 1 billion kilograms of silk cocoons annually, accounting for approximately 70% of the world's total output.
Before silk cocoons can be used in industry, they undergo a screening process with specialized equipment to remove inferior ones. Only the best cocoons are kept for processing into high-quality silk, a task that still requires manual labor. Next, the cocoons are put into the boiling line. The process not only helps separate the silk fibers easily, but also kills bacteria and removes impurities to ensure high-quality silk. After boiling, the softened cocoons are passed through a machine to pull the threads, which are then wound into strands. Several cocoons are used to make one strong thread. Traditionally, skilled farmers would reel the silk by hand. Today, modern machines have improved efficiency by automating the process, pulling and winding the threads into continuous strands. Silk produced by silkworms is used to create luxury products like clothing and accessories highly valued worldwide. For Chinese farmers, silkworm farming offers a steady income and supports local economies. It's more than just a business. It's a tradition that has shaped their way of life for generations. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Your support really helps us create more great content, more great